Totong, muy buenos días, welcome, good morning again. I have now the pleasure to introduce and then to chair to moderate the next panel uh, on the cross cutting award winner project of the Provincial Council of Barcelona. My name is Alexander Heisling, I'm a member of the European Institute of Public Administration, one of the lucky ones, let's say, being based and working here in Barcelona. I will be very briefly to tell you why uh, the European Public Sector Award has been given to the Provincial Council of uh, Barcelona, and then afterwards we will uh, listen to what they have done in order to obtain this prestigious award. As a very quick reminder, the European Public Sector Award had uh, its topic in 2015 which was called the public sector as a partner for better societies. In total, uh, we were giving out three uh, very prestigious awards. We had uh, two categories for winning uh, this uh, biennial award. The one was for the category European National and Regional Administrations. So we did it by administrative, let's say, categories. And on the other side, we had uh, also a winner from the super local and local administrations. But since we know that there are very, very astonishing and very, very, let's say, uh, inspiring projects from both sides, especially that some of the administrations are working very much together with both, with other levels of administration, at the same time with external inst internal stakeholders. In addition, we also awarded uh, the winner uh, for cross-cutting award. It means cross-cutting uh, award means cross-administrative working, horizontal, vertical cooperation, cutting red tapes, but also internal and external cooperation with different actors. Why was this award, from my point of view, minimum equally important or prestigious than the other two? Because a total of 217 projects, when they submitted their applications, they have marked that our project, our achievements, contains elements for cooperation, for partnership, to working together with other actors within the administration, outside administration, or with other levels. So we had 217 projects from a total of 37 different countries, from which the Provincial Council of Barcelona has been finally then selected to win. So there's a huge, let's say, pool or basis from which we have selected uh, the winning projects. And selecting the project is not an easy task, because as we know, uh, there are many, many awards, and awards are given sometimes in the different ways. We are very proud of our, let's say, multi-step, very sophisticated, sometimes a little bit even costly or time-consuming methodology. But at the end, uh, we always try to, be, to ensure that we are impartial, that it's also a fair process, and at the end of the day, of course, that it is also, let's say, transparent. In this context, we have four steps. So the Provincial uh, Council of Barcelona, who won uh, this cross-cutting award can say that our, uh, let's say, project has been seen, scrutinized, assessed, evaluated by minimum of five, six, or even more evaluators coming from different sectors, coming from the academic side, coming from the public administration side, coming from the private sector side. At the first step, there was this individual online evaluation that means not even the evaluators, they knew each other, and even if they knew each other, didn't know that they are evaluating the same applications at that stage. It has been done remotely, and the Provincial Council of Arsenal also has gone through this step. That means their administration has been seen and assessed by different evaluators. Coming from different sectors, and above all, we always have this element of country, uh, let's say, element in the sense that the Spanish administration or Spanish project is not assessed by the Spanish evaluator for various reasons you may know. Then all these evaluators are coming together because it's not easy. Some of these assessors, they like very much approach, the others they don't like it so much. 
But at the end of the day, we have to come to a consensus saying these are the best ranked project, the best core project. At the end of the day, we have to select the best one. This consensus meeting brings always together all these assessors together. They are, let's say, we always say enclosed in the room. They are not allowed to leave this room before such a consensus is reached. And then they discuss it with those who have not evaluated or assessed uh, the respective projects. So that they're a different step. Then last but not least, there are two more equally important, because what we do, of course, we receive very good paper applications or online applications, which are very nicely done. Some of them are perfectly presented. Some of them, they are, of course, also from native speakers written in a very, very good way. But at the end of the day, it's always important to validate or verify what has been promised or what has been submitted. So on-site visits plus uh, online video conference uh, interviews with not only the project leader, but also with those who are beneficiary, those who are in the opposition, or maybe even criticism towards the project. So all of this opinion is very important to collect, to put together, and then also to submit it and to provide it to the last step, where we have another pool of experts coming from a different level, this more political level, but not from the other pool of the experts, so to have then the final decision. So as I said, four step, a very, very sophisticated way, but at the end, I think it's worse to do the job because as you can see, here in the next picture, happy winners. Yeah, a lot of smiles there when they got their awards in Maastricht. The provincial council with uh, both political project leader, all those involved. And there are much more people, of course, who were not allowed or were not be able to go to Maastricht. But I think it's then nice to see these kind of faces. Having said this, and after having, having uh, a very happy winners, it's also good to see why they have won. What we with the apps uh, pretend is not only to create a European network of uh, public excellency, but what we also do is we give immediately back to the public administration a kind of evaluation summary notes. So if you submit your achievements, thanks to this methodology, thanks to this process of assessment, we collect a lot of information, not only scores and numbers, but we give this back to each of the administration. It's a kind of free consultancy work we do. Yeah, we assess your uh, project and you receive it back. Where can you improve? What did you do good, etc. In this case, of course, I will highlight now uh, in one, two minutes, the most important winning uh, elements, the principal strengths of the project. You can see already in these white boxes that we have several criteria. In total, we have seven criteria which we use for our evaluation. Innovation is one of the things. And here we have found out, not us, IPA is steering everything, but the evaluators building knowledge, developing of products, promoting research, providing evidence, encouraging improvement on the health perspective in the design of cities all together. Here it's the pooled element is truly novel and innovative. You find that in many, many cities, but very often isolated, or the one thing is more dominant than the other one, but here you could see in an innovative way that all these things have been brought together. In addition, since it's a cross-cutting award, what is most important that many, many actors have worked together. We have identified that not only the political backing was there, but across 13 administrative departments, involving 49 professionals from 15 different disciplines have worked together and promoted truly urban environments. So horizontal, vertical cooperation was key for the success. In addition, for such achievements, you need to have a very good communication. We have seen that also in other administration. If you don't communicate with other, this kind of, let's say, promoting health in other departments is not possible. Communication is very important. We all know that administrations are working very much in our legal corsets, so bureaucratic corsets, as we call it, these corsets, so limitation. In this uh, context, it demonstrated very active uh, approaches and models beyond legislative obligations, because we know we have our norms, and when we have the norms, we start to execute them or to act. In this case, we did even beyond. And health is integrated into other policies, not only by regulation, but mainly by leading by example. So very important is this element of leading by example in order to have that done everywhere. Another element for us very important is sustainability. Sustainability in our case is always defined what happens when the financing of such a project is ending? So what elements are in place that this is sustained, the number of actors, the way it is done, 
with or without the political voice, we always see, and also what the, our director general says, once the government changes, projects may die or immediately change. So in this context, it's very important. What we also have said in the beginning, it is in the provincial government is acting as a consultant. This is a new role, uh, let's say, administrations may take over. We know we are the regulators, we are the decision makers, we are the service provider, but we have also heard this morning this is key enabling function, not only here at the provincial level, but for the others to be the province as a consultant for the municipalities. The word consultants, I put it here in brackets, because it's not liked so much with inside, because we use a lot of external consultancy and knowledge. But I think it's good to have that also internally. In financial terms, it seemed also when we looked at the project that it has cost only minimal out-of-pocket, let's say, expenditures. It has been done a lot with the knowledge available, the own resources available, and not uh, with extras. And last but not least, since it's a European award for us, it's very important this sharing, this trans uh, transfer, also as we do it today. Transferability and learning capacity, one of the key criteria also in our award scheme. And there's, of course, in that context, a lot of elements and a very high level of transferability. All administrations all over Europe will find inspiration, many lessons learned. You can have to look into it, listen to them. I think there's many, many good uh, uh, elements for you too. If I have inspired a little bit of interest uh, of the project, but also of the EPSA award, because maybe many of you maybe doesn't even know it, I can only guide you and address you and invite you to have a look at all the different, uh, uh, let's say, publications we have produced over the last, now it's seven years, from 2009 until 2015. We all have put this together in catalogs, all the best practices, but at the same time, we have put them also, let's say, at the disposal on research. We do a lot of research and we have, of course, this is a gold mine and this knowledge can be used in order to draw trends to good key, let's say, elements, key success criteria for the whatever topics. I only, uh, let's say, highlight the one or the other. The last one is the public sector uh, as a partner for better society, the last public, uh, let's say, EPSA publication and also other, which we have done, for example, with the university, of Oslo Press and so on. So all this is there at the website, you can have a look. I will not use more time because I think it's not only the why is important, exactly what the what is important. I leave it here and I have now a big pleasure to pass on the floor to our two colleagues. First of all, it is uh, Kati Chamorro, who is uh, the head of Department of Public Health in the Provincial Gov Council of the, of the Barcelona city and Eloy Juvila, Section Chief of Facilities and Public Space Provincial Council of Barcelona too. I give you the floor, and afterwards, after their presentation, uh, we can have also some time for discussion and or taking the one or other question. Thank you very much. <laughs> 